as most people know, you're born and raised in D.C. Yeah. What, what do you think of the Redskins right now at, <laughs> at, at three and six? You know, um, I've got one of those jobs that, um, you know, probably uh, makes you far more a, a fan of the individual players than of the teams. So uh, I just got off the phone with Tom Brady a little bit ago talking about an issue. I got a call with Drew. A little later, and obviously we've got a great quarterback in RG3 here. So um, so do you call him after every game and go, man, what was going on? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, uh, no. I mean, I, look, I, I enjoy loving him uh, and watching him. Uh, my job is to represent him. Uh, I'll certainly be uh, there on Sunday. Uh, so I'll, I don't go to many games, uh, but uh, I'll be at the game on Sunday. So, you know, we're looking forward to... You know, good uh, good time. I'll see Michael on the sideline as well. So now I heard a rumor. I don't know where that you own a pair of Redskins Zubas. I do own a pair of uh, Redskins Zubas. I, I, well, let me let me clarify. I'm sure my wife won't let me wear them, uh, <laughs> and I'm sure they've been donated to a good cause long ago. But yeah, that's a pretty good memory. That's what's that's your, actually a little terrifying. What's your best piece of Redskins gear then? Best piece of Redskins gear. Um, I have a. It's hard to beat. It's all downhill. Yeah. Um, you know, I remember uh, getting a jersey from Art Monk, um, and uh, and a jersey from. Uh, I've got a football that that I've I had uh, probably from the time that I was 10, 12. Uh, my dad would take me to training camp, and I'd bring the same football. So, you know, everybody from uh, John Riggins to Gary Clark to Art Monk. Um, even older Redskins like Pat Fisher sure. are on that ball. So that, you know, for me, that's probably the coolest thing uh, that I have in my office right now. Cool.